Okay, outside the hole now. This is a whole hatch that I've had to get into this whole last few weeks. Anyway, so I've got the cover off. We're back outside again now. And this is where underneath, we put some fiberglass last week. Very solid material now that is. It's a composite of the foam with the glass fiber on it. And the stuff in the middle, still very bouncy. But because we've got the curve there, it's the fairness of that curve, and that's held by the strong, I can take this off. <laughs> and it hasn't broken, yay. Because <laughs> that's been there since we put the cover on. <clears throat> Weighting it down in the middle um, with some flat planks. Now, the question is this, and I haven't quite answered it yet. <laughs> The question is, is how do I mark out an ellipse, a double ellipse? That's different, it's like an egg. How do you draw an egg, egg shape? Because that's what I want, I want a hatch. It's gonna be round at the bottom there, and a little bit more pinched up here, and in the middle. All right, hmm, not sure. I'm gonna go and play with it. Okay, well this is an exciting time. A uh, total solar eclipse is underway. And I am here at Arwen with what I require to draw an ellipse for the eclipse. It's really beautiful to me actually, this is really beautiful, is that the name of this boat is Arwen. <coughs> I'm living in Glastonbury. And in Glastonbury, Arwen is a big thing. Arwen is a big druid thing. Arwen is the source of inspiration. And um, I see the Arwen symbol all around Glastonbury when there is um, processional celebration. One sees the three dots and the three rays of the Arwen symbol all over the place. <laughs> it's really true. And so what I'm doing here, you know, really what I'm doing here is I'm finishing this thing, which has been part of my life for a long time to be finished. And as well is, you know, a plan for the future and has been a work of great, great effort. And so here, to make the hatch, the defining part of the boat, where I shall stand, I want that to be in the shape of an egg. And I look to see how one draws an egg. <laughs> um, you know, with circles and arcs and things, but this is the method that I'm going to use. And it is just a loop of string, but three points. It's Arwen. I'm drawing an egg to come out of myself. The geometry I need is Arwen, is three dots, three points, and a loop to connect them together. And there she is. And like the three rays again then of the Arwen symbol. There. And you'll see three rays as part of the symbol of this channel, of this boat, of my boat that I designed. Years ago, before I knew anything about Arwen. And there are the three rays. Here are the three rays. This is be drawing an egg. A continuous e ellipse at the eclipse.
Right, okay, well, let's have a look at this then. I've made the f hatch opening then, it's all that. Um, I've smoothed it off now. So you've got some very smooth lines here for an upstand to uh, be formed around the inside of it. There. Um, I just want to look at the way that I'm doing this. Is This is in two parts uh, to the, f the fore part, the front part and the rear part and joining at the sides and what I've done is put an angle just on this with the grinder with the belt sander there so that's at an angle so where the two pieces fore and aft meet at the side they can be attached together and they will have a you know they will have a flare so they won't be straight up they have a bit of a flare all the way around so that the, the angle inside the cockpit is continuously flared outwards and I'm doing that at the side with these angled bits. Right, get it stuck in. Maybe it doesn't explode. I've cut the, this is the piece for the rear to go around. Um, and this is the piece that I cut yesterday. And you can see it's in two halves. <laughs> because if you um, make a pencil line, make a pencil center line right at the point of maximum curvature when you're really pushing the material it make it can do it the material can do this it's not too much for it but <laughs> yeah if I draw a pencil line it will snap it's like cutting glass you know Right, okay, well I'll cut this again and hopefully it doesn't explode. I'm really happy with this. Okay, it's Friday today and um, I was just coming for the first time. Put this on yesterday, trying to knock it off because uh, it's quite, um, it's just stuck at the edge at the moment. What I want to do today is get some more foam and put it on the outside of this foam. Really try not to spoil the geometry of it, try not to distort this beautiful shape that we've got and then that'll fix it much more firmly because it'll be fixed on top and to the face and then I can let that go hard over the weekend, let the epoxy settle um, and then come in next week and uh, start working this together because then inside <coughs> um, then all this all this needs uh, sanding back and, and shaping and then having fiberglass put on it like I did under the corner there um, do all this but yeah the hatch is on I'm super, super happy with this. And oh, this is the first time I'm looking at it. And the angles, the way this is beautiful, so smooth. Really, really happy. So sort of happy that I kept the boat, actually. <laughs> actually, really. Um, yeah, because this is, uh, yeah, that, hang on, let's pull this pin out. It's a comfy backrest. You see that? Oh. <laughs> and the same on the other side. Yeah, really happy. Okay, so that's that's this week. Um, uh, see you again next week.